Hello YouTubers, it is now time for game 56 of my run of Jeopardy for the PS2. I did initially post a 56 game, but unfortunately, somebody ended up flagging it. So I in instead I decided to take it down. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, ladies and gentlemen. We have one daily double up there for you in this first round of play. So let's get going. Let's do it, Alice. I'm anxious to play. Let's check out the categories. Four words. F-O-R in quotation marks. We know what that means. Simple science. Well, I should do well on that one. Abbreviations. Bobbing. One million five hundred ninety-five thousand dollars is my current total. And small. The last category is David Lynch film. Oh gosh. Let's get things underway, player one. Okay. Uh, simple science for two hundred. Rhodium got its name because its salts are this color. What is red? My favorite color. Precisely. Like again. Simple science 400. This element has the symbol N. What is nitrogen? Precisely. Like again. Science 600. This, along with gold and silver, are considered the three precious metals. What is bronze? No? What is platinum? Right. Oh, Thank wow, you. great. Science 800. Ventifacts are rocks that are shaped by sand driven by this force of nature. What is wind? Hey, you got it. Science 1000. Answer? All right. Player one, please make your wager now. Let's make it a true daily double. Okay, here's the clue. Hematite is an important ore of this metal. What is iron? Right you are. Uh, bobbing, 200. In 1997, this ex-Senate majority leader agreed to loan Newt Gingrich money for his ethics violation fine. Who is Bob Dole? Mm, correct. Bob Dole. It's your turn, player three. Bobbing for 400. He teamed with Bing in the road movies. Who is Bob Hope? That's right. Bobbing 600. Who are you, player one? Bobbing 600. Eric Clapton's hit, I Shot the Sheriff, was written and recorded earlier by this reggae star. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. This is the correct question. Bob Marley. Okay. I know that. It was just, I just couldn't come up with it. Bobbing 800. This golfer won his first of four U.S. Opens in 1923. This is the Oh, Bobby question. Jones, that's right. Bobbing a thousand. Longtime host of The Price is Right. Who is Bob Barker? 
He's no longer as he's no longer the host of the show, but still. Exactly. Uh, all creatures great and small, two hundred. The eastern diamondback species of this snake may reach a length of eight feet. Oh, what is a rattlesnake? You bet. That was what I was gonna say, but it didn't. Two, uh, it was two. not quick enough. All creatures great and small, for four hundred. To put things in perspective, this colorful whale and largest mammal has a heart the size of a VW bug. But it's a blue whale. Yes. Player one. All creatures great and small, six hundred. It's the nosy critter, also known as an ant bear. What is the giant ant eater? That's it. Oh. Player three, your turn. David Lynch films for two hundred. Oh gosh. Movie in which John Hurt, as John Merrick, declares, "I am not an animal." What is Doctor Doolittle? That's not right. Sorry. I don't even know who David Lynch is. This is what we want. The Elephant Man. All right. Four words for two hundred. A public square in ancient Rome where other than funny things happen. What is a forum? Hey, you got it. There we go. Player one, your turn. All creatures great and small, 800. Smaller ones of these birds are frequently called doves. Okay, here's the clue. What are pigeons? Oh, right. Well done, yes. I wanted to say that, but I wasn't sure if Player it was two, right. It's your turn. Abbreviations for 200. Abbreviated HMOs, many Americans are now enrolled in these groups that function as both insurers and care providers. <sighs> this is the correct Health question. maintenance organizations. Player two, you're still up. All creatures great and small for a grand. These dragons have been known to overpower small deer and wild pigs. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Well, I wouldn't want to get in contact with them. What are Komodo dragons? Correct. Player one, it's your turn. Four words, 400. This surgical instrument is sometimes used to help deliver babies in distress. Uh, what is, uh, forcep? What are forceps? Oh no, that's, uh, muscle. Or maybe I'll try it anyway. Precisely oh, good! Like Force forward 600. VHS or beta, for example. Oh. What is format? That's right. It. Yeah, format. If you would, player three. David Lynch films for four hundred. Lynch played an FBI man in his 1992 film prequel to this TV series. What is Twin Peaks? Very good. You pick again. Okay. David Lynch films. For 600. The title of this early work comes partly from the hero's exotic pompadour. What we were looking for was this. Eraser head. Abbreviations for 400. Meaning a feeding apparatus 
IV stands for this. What is intravenous? Intravenous. Exactly. Player one? Uh, four words, 800. It's the old Portuguese name for Tyrone. What is Formosa? Oh. All right. All right, player three, what'll it be? I'll take four words for 1,000. The part of the body between the elbow and the wrist. What is the forearm? That's it. Player one? What Abbreviation 600. Advertised in face creams as well as beach products, SPF stands for this. What is sun protection... What is sun protection factor? Right you are. Hey, you're still up, player one. Abbreviations 800. The man seen here was a member of this political party, abbreviated the ANC. Okay, here's the clue. I want to say what is the American... What is African National Congress? Very good. You pick again. Abbreviations a thousand. Tenderfoots know it's the BSA. Uh, no idea. Here's what we will. The Boy Scouts. Oh, that's right. The Boy Scouts of America. You start out hey, as a tenderfoot. I was never a Boy Scout myself. David Lynch films a thousand. This sci-fi film, directed by David Lynch is set 9,000 years in the future. Take a look. Here Dune. Is the okay. Dune. And finishing off this round, Isabella Rossellini is the Blue Lady, a nightclub singer in this 1986 masterpiece. I'm staying out of this. This is what we want. Blue Velvet. Okay, at the end of the first round, I have the lead with 10,000. Let's see how all our players are making out. Splendid work, player one. Thank you. 10,000 for me, 1,000 for player two, 2,600 for player three. We'll see if I can keep this good fortune going into... Double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Yes, it is. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. We have. That's my weapon. Yes, it is. Cliff's Notes. American History. 17th Century America. Film Goodbyes. And our last category? Hmm. Religion. I think I got two categories down you get the ball at the rolling most. This time, player two. 17th Century America for 400? Hey, wait a minute. This island was bought for only 60 guilders worth of goods in 1626. What is Manhattan? Right. Right. Peter Minuit, Claire right. Three, your turn. 17th century America for 800. This compact was signed November 21st, 1620 
in Provincetown Harbor, Massachusetts. What is the Mayflower Compact? Right. Player one, your turn. 17th century America, 1200. The first book printed in the colonies was Stephen Day's whole book of these biblical songs in 1640. What are hymns? Regrettably, oh, no. no. What are psalms? Oh, That's psalms, it, yeah. Exactly. Whole book of psalms. Makes Where good it's sense. Good, it's your turn. That's my weapon for 400. Okay. Sources say this knife wasn't invented by Alamo Hero Jim, but by his brother, Rezin. Anyone at all? Take a look. Here's the Bowie the knife. knife. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Player two, you're still up. Cliff's notes for 400. Girl falls asleep, has some really weird dreams, wakes up, goes to tea. This is the books. What is Alice in Wonderland? Right. Player one. Uh, 17th Century America, 1600. In March 1643, Roger Williams left for England to get a formal charter for this island colony. What is Rhode Island? Oh, right. right. Player three, your turn. I believe it was one of the early states, too. 17th Century America for 2000. No fooling. In 1699, this pirate captain visited Narragansett and may have buried treasure there. Uh, who was... Who is, uh... Captain Kidd? That's it. All right. Made the Player good one. Made the right choice there. Uh, Close notes, 800. Young Civil War soldier has dreams of glory, but in his first battle, he runs in the wrong direction. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Do I know these books? Maybe not, but I did see this on the original show. Precisely. Like Close notes, 1,200. Monster and Mom Munch, Devour Drinking Dames, Party Hero Hacks, Deadly Duo Dies. What is, uh... Oh, gosh. I remember this clue. Oh, I didn't mean it. No, that's not right. Sorry. It didn't come to me. I thought it did. Here's what we were looking for. Beowulf, that's it. I'll remember that from now on. Close enough, 1600. Man kills his dad and marries his mom. And that's before the play even begins. What is uh, Oedipus Rex? Correct. Hopefully it's there. Close notes, 2,000. Yeah! Player one, please make your wager now. You know what? I feel super lucky. I'm going to bet it all. Okay, here's the... Sea Captain cares more about his cargo of breadfruit trees than he does about his crew. Crew senses this. What is Mutiny on the Bounty? Right, That's my weapon, 800. Henry, not Yancey, invented this pistol. 
and it was imitators who added an extra R to the name. Oh, uh, what is Derringer? Very good. You pick again. That's my weapon, 1200. In 1855, he began mass production of the revolver he first designed out of wood while at sea in the 1830s. I remember this category too, but I don't quite remember the episode. Who was the, Samuel uh, Colt? Oh, Samuel Colt. Very good. I don't quite remember some of the answers. Player three, it's your turn. Film goodbyes for 400. Okay. In a 1965 epic, this Omar Sharif character keeps getting separated from his beloved Laura. This I can never remember. Take a look. Here Dr. Yuri Zhivago. Religion for 400. Okay. Prepared by Maimonides, the 13 Articles of Faith is a summary of the basic tenets of this religion. What is Judaism? Very good. Judaism. I wanted to say Islam. Religion for 800. How low can you go? This place, bordering hell and Catholic theology, is now used to mean an intermediate state. Oh. What is limbo? Yes. That's what I was going to say, but I was too slow. Religion for 1,200. There is a god of snowshoes. It's O, the son of this Norse thunder god's wife, Sif. This is what we want. Thor! Okay, Thor. Player three, you're still in control of the board. Religion for 1600. Andrea del Sarto's 1527 version of this biblical banquet is similar to that of Leonardo, a man he admired. What is the Last Supper? Right. All right. Over to you, player one. Uh, religion 2000. The informal name of the Religious Society of Friends, which has orthodox and conservative sects. Oh. What are the Quakers? Yep. Correct. It just hit me and I was too soon and I was too slow. Player three. Again. Your turn. American history for 400. Okay. Size mattered to this Declaration of Independence signer. His signature was the biggest. Who is Thomas Jefferson? Is oh no. Incorrect. What we were looking for John was Hancock, this. okay. That's my weapon for sixteen hundred. Gangsters love to get their hands on this invention of General John Thompson. What is uh Thompson's submachine gun or Tommy gun? Uh, that's my weapon, 2000. This shirt maker bought the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company in 1857 and soon controlled the repeating rifle industry. I don't quite remember this answer. Who was Winchester? Exactly. Oh, okay. Player two, what'll it be? Film goodbyes for 800? In Casablanca, this Bogart character reminds Ilsa, as they part, we'll always have Paris. Who is Rick Blaine? Yes! Oh, Rick Blaine. Film goodbyes for 1200 This actor keeps parting and getting back together with Andy McDowell in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Who is Hugh Grant? Yes, indeed. 
Hmm. Player three, it's your turn. Film goodbyes for 1,600. In this film, Monty Cliff says goodbye to Donna Reed and returns to duty as Pearl Harbor is attacked. Camera's low on battery, but I might be able to finish this. What is from here to eternity? Right you are. Mmm. Player two, your turn. Film goodbyes for 2,000. In the seven-year itch, Tom Ewell says goodbye to his wife and starts flirting with this actress. Who is Marilyn Monroe? Right you are. Darn it, that's what I was thinking it was. Okay, player three. Let's go with American history for 800. Okay. Alaska's second most populous city is named for this man, who was vice president under Teddy Roosevelt. What is... Uh, uh, who is Juno? Ooh, no. sorry. Here's what we were looking for. Charles Fairbanks, okay. Player three, you're still in control of the board. I'd like American history for 1,200. Answer? Oh. Daily double. Player three. Could we uh oh, she's wager? going all in. Okay, here's the clue. In the 1790s. Oh my God, I know this. Was a tonic for the fortunes of cotton planters. Who was Eli Whitney? Yep. That's it. What a jump. American history for 1600. In 1906, one of these Earth ships devastated San Francisco in April and Valparaiso, Chile in August. What is an earthquake? Correct. Now to complete this... The last one. one. Paul Revere dressed up as an Indian to take part in this party of December 16th, 1773. What is the Boston Tea Party? Yes, indeed. All right. Now I have 32,800 compared to 24,000 for player three. Double jeopardy round. And player two has 6,600. Impressive lead, player one. 24,400. She would have 20, She would have 48,800. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Stay oh! Go ahead, make your wager. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going for $17,200. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. I think I know this. Iowa has two of the three letters of this its state tree in its name. I could have gone all in. Sorry guys, camera ran out of room, but I know the answer. What is oak? I knew it was oak. Let's see if you got the right question. Player two, your question. You said the willow tree. No. Ooh, let's see what that will cost you. 6600 Sometimes you get a tough one. Uh-huh. Player three, you Player said... Player three said nothing. Oh, no. How much did you wager? 
16,800. That drops her down to 7,600. Your question, player one, was? I said Oak. Correct. Yes! 17,200, and that takes me to $50,000! That was a heck of a game. It was. Congratulations to our winner who really racked up a tremendous score today. Player one. And that now gives me one million six hundred forty-five thousand dollars. Bye, everybody. See you next time right here on Jeopardy. Bye, Alex, and I will see you guys for my next video. See you soon.